This is Cardano ADA price. It's been years now. I've been tracking this and, and throughout the journey of just tracking ADA price, you all know me, I've been breaking down the thesis behind it. Why I think as a value investor, ADA is such a strong play. And yeah, there's been some negative headlines in regards to Cardano and price action lately. But if you zoom out on a chart and then we start tying into headlines, which we're about to go over news breaking right now that we're about to go over, when you pull all of these things together and see how Cardano is built, I truly think it's an ongoing thing where I'm, I'm able to sit here and demonstrate why I think the ADA charts and Cardano as a long-term value play is such a strong play. So we're going to go over the news and we're going to dive into the charts. I'm going to give a weekly zoomed out macro view and we'll dive into the short-term price action of ADA. So please hit the subscribe, hit that like. Let's jump into the video. Here's the headline. Emergo partners with Huawei Cloud to expand the Cardano network and scale Web3 solutions in Asia Pacific. Here's Emergo over here on X. We're thrilled to announce a strategic partnership with Huawei. And here's the thing. This is a great comment by Patrick. So to recap, Huawei, a $1 trillion plus company is running a Cardano node now. This is huge. This is huge, everybody. I realize right now we're getting headlines that aren't like, these euphoric, insane meme coin volume headlines like the Cardano chain is blowing up with crazy, you know, meme coins launching and crazy volume. I realize that's not the season for Cardano right now. That's not what's happening. But the season for Cardano demonstrates the foundation to really this, this chart and the story of Cardano, the technicals, the fundamentals. We're talking about the most decentralized staking mechanism launching back here in 2020, Shelly Hard Fork, if you remember. That was foundational to the headlines that we're seeing right now. This headline right now is, is because of the way in which Cardano was built, right? And then we have the multi-asset ledger, Mary Hard Fork, smart contracts came online, projects building in the bear, scalability with Vassal. And, and now, so my point is this, as we see headlines like this, Decentralization factor is there for Cardano and getting better. The security factor is there for Cardano. These two things alone truly separate Cardano. And that's why you see headlines like this, Huawei. And it's not just that, Dubai police, right? We have US states reaching out to Cardano for, for blockchain voting. These, these types of headlines, they're way different than just crazy hype volume happening with Cardano right now. But I want to I want to I want to mention something and then we're going to talk about this news. Decentralization, security within scalability right now. We need liquidity. Cardano needs that and I think it's going to happen. We're talking about USDC, stablecoins, USDT. These things are going to happen. When that unlocks, it is game on. That is just my thought because we have these headlines right now when when liquidity and volume truly unlocks, it is game on. Emergo has partnered with Huawei Cloud, one of the world's top cloud computing firms, to extend support for Cardano Validator Node. This collab collaboration marks a pivotal moment for Cardano, promising to strengthen its capabilities and expand its reach. The partnership will bring Huawei's cloud infrastructure to Cardano ecosystem, allowing developers to use it to build Web3 solutions on Cardano, resulting in increased growth and adoption across. Asia Pacific and Africa. Similarly, the collaboration expected to improve the scalability and interoperability of Cardano's cloud services. Cardano will use will, will also gain access to Huawei's marketplace, a platform utilized by many major organizations, broadening the reach of its Web3 capabilities. Cardano is broadening its reach. Cardano is starting to build bridges as we are in this scalability phase and I think it's only going to get better. This, this news truly is big news. And again, I realize it's not that, it's not playing into the current, it truly isn't. It's not playing into the current narrative within the crypto space as a whole, and even this bull market as a whole, that is these meme coins that are launching and crazy volume that's going on. But truly, foundationally, when we start looking at ADA price charts, besides the fact that ADA, I truly think at this part of the cycle, is on pace to last cycle. There's so many similarities in terms of the season that we're in. Besides that, the foundation that is laid here for, for I think, value investors, I think it's a really strong case. 
I think it's a very strong play as far or as far as blockchains go and as far as this space goes. Remember, this is cryptocurrency space. Bitcoin, when it was made, it was made with this thought of decentralization. And Cardano is a top play in the realm of decentralization. It is like the top play in the realm of decentralization. And we're getting headlines like this. That is bullish. Uh, and I just wanted to make a, a, a note of that. Ada Whale over here, this partnership will bring Huawei's cloud infrastructure into the Cardano ecosystem. Big deal. Let's talk about the charts. Let's look at what's going on over here. I want to start on the zoomed out and, and then we can talk about the zoomed in. There's three points I, I want to hit here because we've really been tracking on this channel this area back here in last cycle. And, and I know that historical data isn't a guarantee that that's going to repeat again. But there's a lot of similarities, right? But I want to actually talk about maybe, maybe a little bit of a different perspective to what I've been saying. And I want to be open to that. And I'm going to have a, a, an example of what that looks like. But the reason why I've been talking about this area is mainly just because it was November 2020. Bitcoin was breaking the bull market doors. It's a similar move that just happened on Bitcoin. As you know, this yellow, this yellow rectangle being broken this time around in February 2024. And then Bitcoin going on to all-time highs. All of that, right? All of that was happening back here in November 2020, December 2020. And that's why if we go to the ADA chart now, we look at, okay, it was happening here and Cardano wasn't breaking out, right? There's November 2020. Here's December 2020. It was the end of December. Finally, ADA started to make a little breakout. So we've been saying, you know what? ADA is kind of like in a similar move right here to what's happening here. Even the structure looks very similar to what was going on back there, right? So that's that just for some context to what we're about to talk about. But what I want to discuss is around this, this concept of, you know, where are we in the cycle with ADA? There's three things I want to discuss. Number one is having, right? So let's put these, these three data points on, on the chart. So number one would be the having. So here's the having last cycle. It's basically this line that you see there, right? That's having. And then here's having this cycle, right? So that's one piece of data in terms of where we are in the cycle. So if we're just using that alone, it's kind of like, man, we're like right here in terms of Cardano. We're all the way back here in May 2020 area. But then there's other data points. These data points I just talked about, the bull market doors being right here, right? So in that case, well, bull market doors, this cycle are right here. So now we have two data points where they're really just different, right? Because bull market doors, this cycle are, is before having, and then last cycle, this was happening months after having. And then here's the, here's the third data point I want to discuss, and I, I failed as, as in my analysis of doing my macro videos. I've definitely failed in recent videos to, to track this because it's kind of an obvious data point. That is this, the 20-day crossing above the 50-day moving average, bullish move. I've probably mentioned it, but this move last cycle happened right around Bitcoin halving. This cycle around happened months before Bitcoin halving, right? This 20-day crossing above the 50-day. Here's a 20-day crossing above the 50-day. So I saw this post from iAlert uh, over here on, on X, and he gives a little bit of a different perspective on Cardano charts. And I'm, I, I like to see this different perspective. In 2020, 25 weeks, check this out, 25 weeks following its trend reversal, ADA retested the bull market support band, surging 4,000% 4, from that level. In 2024, now 25 weeks post-reversal, ADA is once again testing the bull market support band. So if you look at this, he's, he's taking this different data point of kind of this, true, this reversal for ADA, and he's saying we're kind of in this consolidation right here. And if we go look at the ADA charts, he's kind of saying, you know what? We're not where I've been saying, right? In terms of the consolidation and the cycle for ADA, which is right here. But he's saying we're kind of, we're in this range down here. And I have to be open to it. Number one, because that chart offers me a little bit of hopium. It does. But also just because if you look at this key data point, and that is this, after last cycle, when the 20 day moving or 20 week moving average crossed above the 50 week moving average, ADA made a really nice move going into Shelly Hardfork. 
and it fell below the 20 week moving average and hovered in between the 20 and the 50. And this is where I failed, not talking about that enough. This time around, ADA made the 20 week moving average cross above the 50, and it's not yet consolidated between the two, the 20. And the 50. And this is why I say there's hopium here, right? Because this, this allows more downside for ADA, and this could be normal for ADA. And, and the other thing that gives us cushion here is we're still, it, the halving still hasn't even happened. So all of that ugly consolidation that did happen last cycle for ADA, that happened after the halving, right? So months after the halving. And right now we're, we're like going, we're about to go into the halving. So it's an interesting data point. I really wanted to share. Because these moving averages are key uh, in terms of ADA and ADA price in, in any chart, whether it's a daily, a weekly, on Bitcoin, on Cardano, on Solana. When you have 20, 20 moving average crossing above a 50, you always look for consolidation to those moving averages, right? And, the, and it is what happened last cycle. And I think it's notable to, to watch that. Now, if we zoom in on the chart, let's just track the technicals. Let's put aside the macro for a second. A lot of what happens next with ADA price will have to do with what's going on with the crypto markets. Foundationally, again, this news, I think, is so bullish for, for the zoomed out. ADA, Cardano, Cardano needs USDC, USDT. It, Cardano needs to start building bridges. Once that happens, floodgates opening. Macro, looking, looking good in my view. Going over to ADA on the daily, though, this is what we've really been talking about. It is the rising wedge. ADA, you can just see grappling. It's, it's right now looking very, very tough, challenging for ADA because we're below the 20. ADA made a move to the 20 and kind of failed there. And right now, kind of putting in a double bottom on this daily chart. But the problem is it's hovering below the, the, the lower trend line, right? So I think... What we have to do, especially, you know, right now it's, what, Thursday? We're about to go into the weekend. We have to really continue to monitor what the crypto markets in general do, what Bitcoin does. But we have a 20-day moving average crossing below the 50. The best case that we talked about, I think, the other day was very similar move happened back here, and ADA finally bottomed out and went up, right? We're at that moment now. And ADA has to really make a power move back above this lower trend line and ADA needs to make the move very soon back above the 20-day to get a repeat of that move, right? So we can see a, a move back into the rising wedge and ADA to start testing just key breakout areas. But we are nowhere near there right now. The upper trend line of this range is around 85 to 90 cents for ADA to make that move. And we have short-term support or short-term resistance, lower trend line, 20-day 50 day, the 50 day moving average around 65, the 20 day moving average around 61, 62, and this lower trend line, like right there around 60. ADA has to break all of that mess. If ADA gets a pop, a break to the upside, that would be an incredibly short term bullish confirmation for ADA. But right now, I think it's wise to anticipate potential downside, right? We've broken the lower trend line. If crypto, I'm talking about Bitcoin and crypto in general, continues to the downside, it's very clear. We have a 200-day moving average down here as the next area of support. It's right around 49.50 cents. That could be the next big leg down for ADA. Just have to anticipate it. And if we look, it's like a 10 to 15% move down to test support. And then maybe at that point, ADA makes the pullback to this uh, lower trend line. And then it's another test, right? Maybe that's going into having, maybe it's after having, who knows when it would be, but this could be speculative if ADA falls, maybe getting a bounce to test a, 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 another move to the upside. All in all, ADA needs to break back into this rising wedge because at the end of the day, the target to the downside is around 30 cents. That's in an environment where crypto over the next month or two is probably just falling and ADA would be falling with it. That just is what it is. Um, and we might have to just wait longer for any type of Cardano bull market. But that's that's in play. To the upside, though, again, if ADA makes a bullish power move uh, on this daily chart back above the lower trend line, the 20-day the and the 50-day, we could be in store for something very exciting on the ADA charts. But at the end of the day, when we're zoomed in on the charts and we're zoomed in on the short term, and there could be in play multi-week, multi-month consolidation or downside for the crypto markets as a whole, we just have to anticipate downside for, for ADA. And I realize ADA, if we zoom out on the chart at this stage, obviously performed, 
decent from the bottom, right? But there's been other altcoins that have outperformed Cardano by a lot. So I realize any more consolidation in this range is just annoying for ADA holders. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And it's pretty much exactly what happened last cycle. Uh, these, these markets, crypto markets, test our patience at the end of the day. And I say that a lot at the end of the day. All we can do is anticipate everything. Expect nothing. And for me, that's what I do. Just so that I'm comfortable with my current portfolio. It doesn't mean I don't get frustrated at times with price action, but it is what it is. So these are my thoughts on crypto across the board, on Cardano across the board. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. I appreciate you cruising through. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I will see you in the next video. God bless.